Hi there, and welcome to the Checkpoint Deployment 101 lesson. Before we take a deep dive into the various tools and use cases of deployment that are specific to Checkpoint, let's briefly discuss what deployment is, the types and methods of deploying Checkpoint software, and finally, I will give a high-level overview of the Checkpoint deployment tools. Simply put, software deployment is the process required to make a software system available for use. It can be generally divided into three categories. Setting up a new machine. This type of deployment is performed on a new machine, which also requires an installation of an operating system. Performing a clean install on an existing machine. In this type of deployment, you start afresh with a clean version of a designated software overriding an existing installation. This type of deployment preserves previous configurations such as user credentials, IP addresses, and default gateways. A clean install should be chosen when you wish to downgrade the machine to an older major version or perform a fresh install of the same version or a higher version. It should also be used when you would like to change a machine role for instance, from management to gateway. And finally, the third type of deployment is used when upgrading a machine. In this type of deployment, you preserve the existing operating system settings and the checkpoint database while installing hotfixes, jumbo hotfixes, or major versions. This form of deployment also generates an automatic snapshot during a major version installation. This is very helpful in case you need to revert the installation. So, what can you deploy with Checkpoint's deployment tools? You can deploy major versions, which introduce new functionalities and cutting-edge innovative technologies to the market while maintaining a high product quality. For example, R80.20, R80.40, R81, etc. Jumbo hotfixes are an accumulation of stability and quality fixes resolving multiple issues in different products. You can also install hotfixes, which are specific quick fixes for a particular feature or a fix to be installed where required. The last type of checkpoints deployment is Blink. Blink allows users fast and easy deployment of the checkpoint gateway or management server. This usually means an all-in-one bundle package of major and minor installations. Upon completion of this deployment, the user gets a machine with the desired version, the desired hotfixes or jumbo hotfixes, and the updated signatures for the installed software blades. You can install these deployables either by orchestrating multiple gateways or by deploying a single gateway. When orchestrating multiple gateways, several gateways are upgraded simultaneously. This includes upgrading clusters while maintaining connectivity upgrades. The upgrade is performed from the management server and can only be used to upgrade gateways. When deploying a single gateway, you perform an installation on a single machine, which can be a gateway, a management machine, a log server, or any type of Gaia operating system machine. So, we've talked about the types of checkpoint deployments, but what about the methods of deployment? Let's talk about the three methods of deployment that can be used when deploying checkpoint software, depending on the circumstances. First, you have the online deployment method. In this method, the machine that is deployed to is connected to the checkpoint cloud, and the software package are being downloaded and installed on the machine. Next, you have the offline deployment method. In this method, the machine that is deployed to is not connected to the checkpoint cloud, and the users needs to import the desired upgrade package to the machine. Finally, you have the initial deployment method. In this method, users can easily manage the initial deployment of their Gaia operating system gateway or their Gaia embedded small and medium business enterprises and data center security appliances. This is designed for setting up a new appliance. In this last topic of this session, I'd like to give you a quick overview of the four deployment tools used when deploying Checkpoint software. The Checkpoint Update Service Engine, CPUs, 
also known as the Gaia Software Update Agent, is an advanced and intuitive mechanism for software deployment on Gaia OS. It supports deployments of hotfixes, jumbo hotfixes, and major versions on a single machine. The central deployment tool, CDT, is a utility that runs on management servers and multi-domain management servers running Gaia OS. This utility lets you manage a deployment of software packages from your management server to multiple managed security gateways and cluster members at the same time. It also allows you to perform various actions such as taking a snapshot, running shell scripts, push files or pull them, etc. It also allows you to automate the return material authorization, also known as RMA, backup and restore process. And finally, CDT handles cluster upgrade automatically, including connectivity upgrade. Another tool is the central deployment in Smart Console, available from version R81. You can deploy using the Smart Console. It lets you perform batch deployment of Jumbo hotfixes and hotfixes on gateways, clusters, and VS6 gateways. It also enables you to upgrade versions of gateway clusters and VS6 devices. The last type of tool is called Zero Touch. The Zero Touch cloud service allows users to easily manage the initial deployment of their Gaia operating system gateways or Gaia embedded small and medium business, enterprises, and data center security appliances. It allows to deploy them in remote sites without having to send a skilled admin. And you can also use it to install a new version and not just initial settings. And that's about covers the Checkpoint Deployment 101. We've talked about deployment in a nutshell, the types and methods of deployment, and the tools that can be used for deploying Checkpoint software. Thank you for taking this lesson. See you in the next one.